Hey, Luke, uh, Modal, um, rather, rather startled in the headlights because it's very dark here at Synthfest. Um, so, really successful Kickstarter campaign? Yes, thank you. You're yes, launched, we funded it's it. Go. Uh, yeah, we've gone over to Indiegogo in demand uh, for a few more days. We're here at Synthfest uh, showing off the results of what we've been doing since then. Um, we haven't been resting, that's for sure. We've got production plastics here on show. Uh, we've got poly chaining now in the firmware. So this setup here, we've got eight voices running across two synths. This one is just in a drone mode. Um, so we've got really nice. Um, so that, is that, how does that poly chaining work? Is it like direct parameter? Uh, so you just buy two and a DIN and it will just work in the firmware, so it will send everything across. Uh, it will allocate notes out to the other voices. It's um, automatic. So you end up with eight voice? It's true eight voice poly. For how much? Uh, cost of two, which is what, 269 times two. I've had a long day already. <laughs> right, so, um, so the, are these the final production plastic? Are these final production models uh, here? This one actually is the pre-production. This is a final production panel. Um, that's the white one there. See, we've changed the font a little bit, so it's a little bit easier to read. Um, we've done a lot of work on the DSP engine as well. Um, we've been putting a lot of work into the filter. Uh, that's now not losing anywhere near as much low end. Uh, it's a lot clearer, it's a lot fizzier. Um, we've increased the um, number of partials in the wavetable, so it's a lot fizzier, it's a lot brighter, and just generally um, tweaking the sound and, and making it as, as best we can. Right, so what's, what's um, did they hit the stretch goal, which was the case, wasn't it, and the yes. colour? So, um, so the first stretch goal was the black one, which we've already seen in various videos. Um, the other stretch goal was the lid, currently a speaker stand. Uh, so this comes with now and places on or can be flipped. Let's go underneath. Um, oh, cable's in the way. There you go. Uh, which is a little bit better for playing in your lap if you're portable. Something like that if you don't want the angle. Um, other news, we have doubled the number of notes in the sequencer. We found a bit more room in that. Um, and that's now running at full MIDI clock rate. So that is a real-time sequence as close as we can get. Right, so have you got any other patches? That, um, so changing, patch, changing patches in the first of this will go directly go, it will chain automatically. Yes, that's so, nice, a nice little animation. Um, I don't, that's the wrong button. There you go, so you can see it's completely shared and then... Your one. One of yours. <laughs> if so. <laughs> one of my patches. Oh, that's fun. Yes. Um, we've also been playing around with sample and holds in the LFOs, trying to um, make that a bit more useful. And we've managed to get this thing to pretend like it's a modular a little bit better. Just to give a, a better demo of the mod matrix than we had previously. We've got um, two LFOs generating different random sample and hold values uh, mapped to a whole bunch of things with some really nice generative. Am I, am I, is there also, am I seeing an app here? For you what? are, yes. Um, we have the editor. So that's uh, nearing completion now. As you can see, we've got it building on iPad. We've got a few more platforms to build for. Um, that's going to give you all your patch management, but you still don't need that uh, unless you want to update your unit. So does that, com is that communicating by MIDI to this or by audio? Uh, so that is MIDI. That's USB MIDI to the iPad. That's connected by a CCK. And you can see we've got the rhythm um, is there as well. So we've got a little setup. Right, so, it, so it's, can, it's, it's still got that craft ecosystem. They'll communicate and forward things to each other over the USB port, the same way they would with the DIN port. So, um, obviously, you're fulfilling the uh, Kickstarter stuff. Yes. How much, when are you going to be getting stock to send that to the rest of people who perhaps didn't go by Kickstarter? Sure. Um, so, we're making more than we need in the first run. So, as soon as we've fulfilled the Indiegogo and Kickstarter uh, orders, we can move to dealerships and get it in stores. And we're hoping that's next month. Right, okay. So let's have a couple more patches while we're A couple more patches. Sure.
Um, Right? That's eight voices at the moment, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Uh, presumably, you could also do um, eight voice unison. No, uh, ten, 16 oscillator unison, right? No, more, because it does more yes. than that, doesn't it? Uh, this is up for debate in the office still. At the moment, the mono mode is just coming out of the master unit, but we can absolutely set that up so that in mono mode, it will just play as many oscillators as you have, which could be up to 128. Yeah, because it splits them, doesn't it? So yeah. the polychain is up to four sculpts for 16 voices. Right, okay. Some more sounds then, come on. Some more sounds. All right. Okay, so one of the main yeah, like advantages. Yeah. yeah, but obviously you can pan them left and right so you get a nice sort of stereo effect. Uh, what else have we not heard? We've got the... We're making some tweaks to the delay as well. Uh, so that is a, it's an analog style lag delay. Um, on this patch. So when you're in unison mode, just uh, sorry, in uh, yes, sorry. Uh, polychain mode, that's presumably the master. And this then is the master. Any changes oh, you make on there are, are just reflected on there automatically. Yep, it's just mirrored, it's forwarded on. In the same way it would communicate with the app, it communicates with this one. So and if, it you, makes the if same. you wanted to, you could make minor tweaks to the slave without the master knowing, just so there'd be a bit of difference. Uh, the panel is actually disabled ah, at the moment. Okay, right. um, again, open to suggestion. If, if people want to use it that way, that's fine. Um, but yeah, at the moment, that's just a complete drone. Um, avoids any sort of confusion and nastiness. Yeah, I, I understand. Oh, really interesting. So, um, well, I mean, great news that you got your Kickstarter. Yes. I mean, you tripled it and you smashed it. 300% or just under 300% funded. Um, but we, uh, I think we, we did the 300% stretch goal. And, which is uh, when, anyway. are, when are the units going to be in the hands of the people that, uh, that, that kick started? Or yeah, as, as soon as we can, it's looking like next month. Um, we've got production plastics already. It is, right, so that's ahead, is that ahead of schedule? I believe so. Right. Let's see if we can stay there. <laughs> Luke, thank you very much. No problem.